I'm hiking and I just found another shed skin. So I'm gonna pull it out here and see if we can tell what it is from just a few features on it. So first thing I'm noticing is that it's pretty wide. So it's one of the heavy bodied snakes that lives here. And on each scale, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's a little ridge on the scale. That's called a keel. And that would exclude a lot of snakes. Some snakes have keel, some don't. In this area, snakes that don't have a keel, like a, a long-nosed snake or a king snake, this definitely doesn't belong to them. It would be a uh, western diamondback, one of the other rattlesnakes that's here, or a uh, gopher snake. This is where the head was. That's gone. Let's see if the tail's up here. I mean, I know what it is already. I'm just kind of going through. So the cloaca and the tail are missing. So there's some good things on there that can tell you right what it is. But what I can see on this is a very faint pattern along the back. For some reason on the uh, on shed skins, black pigment in the skin seems to transfer decently well. It's very faint, but you can see it right there. It is the pattern of the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. It's also at this size, larger than the other species of rattlesnake that could be here. So not a surprise, there's a lot of them here, but if I found this in your yard, that's a lot of really good information to tell if you have someone creeping around or have nothing to worry about. I'll sleep right there.